What's going on YouTube? This is the Nomad Illustrator. Peekaboo, I wanna draw you. I'm in the, uh, back in the hookah lounge making the animation right now. I'm showing y'all with the Nikki Dimples. I didn't decide what I'm gonna name him yet. This is one of the people that's using their game to try to seduce Nikki Dimples to get him, get her to be with him. So like, hey, don't forget y'all, if you got a girlfriend or boyfriend or something like that, you want to get a gift for them like their, their birthday coming up the holidays are coming check the link below to get some merch get, get a cup or get a coffee mug or a sticker pack or a nice cool t-shirt for your for your new boo or your bae the link's gonna be below so this video is gonna be about um, how my experiences was in Mexico like dating and like interracial stuff I'm not a just just disclaimer for y'all. I'm not a dating coach. I'm not, uh, I'm not like a coach or nothing like that. I'm just like somebody who traveled and just sharing their experience, right? So just to put that out there, I don't want nobody getting the idea. I'm an artist, not a dating coach. I'm just telling about my personal experiences once I got my passport. So uh, I was in Mexico for a year from 2020 to like the end of 2021 and it was incredible i like i enjoyed every bit of it so when you're there when i was there like in, in mexico they have a big interest they have a big attraction a lot of the people not all towards blacks and i'm pretty dark as you can see in my vlogs i'm a pretty dark guy so i was like in mexico it was very it wasn't hard pulling dates it wasn't hard like getting a frame of benefits or like or getting a uh, a lover you know it took a little work i got rejection you know stuff like that from time to time but it was it was way easier than um i had in my home city in dc it was easier to pull uh, a girl you know a woman you know in my then my, when i was in dc because in mexico there's a lot of people that was heavily attracted to my skin tone like i'm talking about grandmas will walk up on me flirt with me calling me guapo you know that means handsome in spanish uh all kind of situation if you're a black woman too if you're watching this and you're a black woman go to mexico be open to the mexican dudes because they was asking me if i had sisters all that and i was like i was like i don't know if my sisters would date y'all but okay i feel like my sisters are more like this character nikki dimples right here in this animation she's a little bit on the picky side you know so i told the dude like i, I can't set you up with my sister i don't think she will call you back i don't know you know you gotta you gotta do that on your own come up to america and shoot your shot but in Mexico, there was a lot of uh, people that was had a sexual attraction to blacks. So it was easier just because of that. You know, I didn't have to, I didn't have to have super muscles or I didn't have to have, you know, I didn't trick at all. For all you guys that like to trick. I didn't, and when I was in Mexico, I didn't do any tricking. I was just, you know, approaching them on the street, approaching them on the beaches. And I would get rejection. Like anybody else, I would get, it's, it's some women that, you know, I wasn't their type. But the ratio was so good. Like, for every maybe seven women that, or five women that said no, out of that five, somebody was going to say yes to, like, sex, yes to, like, hanging out, yes to anything, you know, because they just like the skin tone. Like, I would ask the women there, I mean, like, what, what made you give me a shot, like, whether it was smashing or whether it was just hanging out like what, what made you give me a shot i like i like to ask you know what what, gave, what made them give me an opportunity and it was like oh you know i like your skin tone you know and all that type of thing and it's like okay so to me that was like a new standard for me like when i was younger i was really into girls like nikki dimples you know it's ironic i'm making a cartoon about it now but like, I was real into girls with that caramelly complexion, but I wasn't naturally attracting them. So it's like, you know, I gotta move around and try my hand with somebody else that I might be more their cup of tea. 
but when I was in Mexico, I would just, I would normally just like meet women on the beach, like walk up to them, like, hey, you looking sexy today. I like how you smoking your cigarette, girl. Like, oh my God, thank you. Just, you know, just, I like women who smoke cigarettes and weed. I mean, I don't, don't ask me why. That's just something that I'm attracted to, so. And I would just approach them on the beach and it was a good chance maybe every several women that said no it was somebody that was going to uh say yes to like smash him and, and yes to like hanging out because i like to like hang out with a, a lover or, or a fuck buddy i don't like to just like just smash i'm not really good at that like just like like if i like the girl enough to smash like i'm i would want to like kick it with her like go hiking or something like that you know so it was it was really it was fairly easy for me being a black guy in Mexico, not going to no prostitution house like they had that type of stuff there. But the whole time I was in Mexico, I didn't do any prostitution. I met women just off of the beach, and just would approach them. And I like that style style better. When I was super young, like 21 and, and kind of chubby and fat, I used to buy escorts when I up, up here in the states, but. I don't advise nobody to do that. If that's what you want to do, cool, you know. But I feel like just approaching women is a is a more exciting option. Even if you get rejected, like I look at it more like as long as I try. I don't expect to get everybody to give me the time of day, but as long as I put effort forth, because anybody could come up with some money and pay for sex. But like and find a woman who's genuinely attracted to you. Shout out to Ron Wills. Shout out to Ron Wills and Lucario fan, cause I learned some some good game from them, which was, was was simple. It was like focus on the women that's feeling you. Like when I was in Mexico, I ran into a lot of women that was naturally feeling me, and I didn't have to like pretend. Well, I mean, I didn't have to do anything extra like to running through any hoops uh, to to get with them. It was just like you know he's my type, and I'm going I'm gonna make myself available to do. It's like okay. But I mean, I had a blast in Mexico. I don't. I'm not the type of person. I don't want to brag on here. I'm not a dating coach. I'm not going to show y'all no receipts. I mean, like y'all see the portraits that I be doing on the, on the vlogs. I'm not somebody trying to give you advice on how to move with your life. I'm just somebody sharing my experience living in Mexico. Like you don't have to trick. You know, you don't have to do none of that when you go overseas. You could. You just have to look for women who is naturally sexually attracted to you. And who like your personality because they would tell me like i like your mind and i like your look too and your aesthetic and that's like the to me the perfect situation to when you're dealing with a woman is she overall just likes what you got going on you know that's to me that that makes a lot more sense to deal with somebody in that scenario so in this situation nikki dimples is not really feeling she thinks he's cute this guy right here with the tats but she's not really feeling him. Y'all gotta stay tuned for the more vlogs that I'ma have as I continue this animation right here. This, this, I'ma make this animation about one minute. So you see her in the beginning with the sugar baby, or sugar daddy type of dude, you know, he's shooting his shot, the sugar daddy that can dance. And um, so I'm working on some other characters. And then you see the stud, the stud in, that you see in this comic, or this animation is the one that, uh, can like can sing and do poetry and all that so she's trying the studs trying to pull her through poetry and the white dude here with the tattoo he just got a good mouthpiece and a nice body which is really great i feel like that's i think that's a better idea to attract a woman than anything else so all of these people are campaigning and they're trying to get with her shout out to sinful to p he's the one that says the uh, campaigning and stuff so i'm making this animation Y'all gonna see at the end of this at this cartoon animation, once it's done, who Nikki Dimple ends up picking out of all these people that's shooting their shot. Now, a lot of people don't like approaching women, but I like to do both. I like to work out and I like to approach women. And I noticed for me, when I lost all the fat that I had, I stopped being in the friend zone as much. But you still have to find women who's actually attracted to you. So, like, if you can see, this is like an interracial type of animation, interracial dating type of thing. And I personally don't have nothing against that, you know. 
I dated uh, Mexican women, black women. I mean, I feel like you can find good in every culture and every race. You don't have to limit it to just your group or limit it to just this or that. Like you can talk to whoever is feeling you. That's just how I see it, you know? My dad was from England and he was big on like teaching us like to be cool with everybody. Don't don't be just focused on just black people. Like be cool with every every culture. And I, it kind of shows up in my animation because this looks like an interracial situation. Like two, two white guys, a muscle bound one and a sugar daddy. And then a stud, a black stud. And then the next character is going to be, and this animation is going to be the one that she probably ends up being with at the end of the cartoon. So y'all got to stay tuned for that. I'm going to do more story time vlogs. Hey, don't forget, if you know your girlfriend, your boyfriend, buy them a gift in the link below in the store. Get them something nice. I just, I'm going to show y'all something I did the other day for a friend, a real good friend I met from Vegas. You know, it was his it was his daughter's birthday. So y'all stay tuned. Like buy your girl something in the in the link, bro. In the website. Check out the merch. You can get her a sticker. And if you ain't, if you if you low on funds right now, get you a sticker out the store. Y'all have a good day. Expect to see more animation. I'm gonna keep telling y'all some good story time vlogs. And Peekaboo, I wanna draw you. I'll talk to y'all soon.